myself, uh, Dr. K. Vishnath Alam Raju, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Kindigal, Hyderabad. Today we are going to study the some of the definitions and terminologies of CAM profiles. So there are various terminologies we are going to study in this session. So in order to draw the effectively profile of a CAM. So the importance of the CAM first, what is the importance of CAM? That is the first question. What is the importance of CAM? So the importance of CAM is required, the importance of the CAM is that the CAM is used to control the valves of an IC engine for proper operation of and increasing the performance of an internal combustion engine. So this CAM shops, the CAM, CAM what is the CAM? A CAM is nothing but is disc or circular disc or oval shaped type of disc. Ge different geometry of a disc is used to control the inlet and exhaust outlet valves of an internal combustion engine. So importance is helps to regulate the controlling, helps to control the valves opening and closing. If the cam, these cams are attached to the camshaft such a way that such a way that the walls will be open and closed. In this diagram, as already shown in one of the lectures, that here each cam is controlled or operated to operated with operated only one valve. That is, this is valves, inlet valve, and it is exhaust valve. Each cylinder consists of two valves. This is the cylinder. The piston is coming and going and upwards and the piston, there are piston rings are there. But mainly focusing on this is the shape of a cam. These cams are attached in a shop. That shaft is known as cam shop. Okay. Now, what is, there are certain terms are there. What is the displacement? What is velocity? Displacement. What is the displacement and what is velocity and what is acceleration? So the distance traveled by the follower during the outstroke, return stroke of the cam rotation, then the, that the distance is known as the displacement, the total distance traveled. So the total distance, there is one more term here, the follower is moves, the maximum distance it moves for a particular rotation of the cam. That particular rotation of the cam, the maximum distance traveled by the follower is known as lift or stroke of the follower. So next term. What is the velocity? The rate of change of displacement is known as velocity ds by dt or here it is not a variable displacement, it is not variable velocity. So that's why what we will do, distance here, in this case here it is distance equal velocity v equal to s by t, stroke of the follower by time. So if the stroke of the follower, it is during our stroke then S by T naught. If it is written stroke, S by T R. What is the R? Time required written for returning of the follower. Time required during out stroke is a T naught. What is the acceleration? The acceleration A equal to V by T. So here velocity by time. Now when it is variable, suppose if the displacement X S equal to equal in terms of variable that is at square plus bt plus c. Then for that case velocity v equal to ds by dt and acceleration a equal to dv by dt. Then acceleration a in the place of d by dt of what is the v? ds by dt. 
then it becomes d square s by dt square. Thus, we have to find out whether it is variable, uh, a variable displacement, variable equation, or constant. So, based on that, we have to use uh, the velocity and acceleration components. These are velocity and acceleration of related to components related to follower. It is for related to follower. Now, next is that what are the types of followers? The types of followers is knife edge follower, next it is roller follower, and the third one is flat face follower. Knife edge follower. What is the shape of knife edge follower? The knife edge follower is the follower Okay, the follower It is a fixed here The cam shape may be the cam shop. It is cam shop and it is cam. So when cam is in contact with the knife edge follower, it is the point contact. That point contact, this pair is known as higher pair. The coefficient of friction is low in this higher pair. Next, coming to roller follower, the roller follower, if the roller is attached, if the roller is attached, excuse me, the case of roller follower, the roller is attached, to the follower, and it is in contact with the cam. This contact is again point contact. Next, what is flat face follower? A flat face follower is having a flat face at the end of the shock. Then again, it is in contact with the curved surface that is a cam. This is the point contact. Then also, that means all pairs in cam profiles here knife edge follower, roller follower and flat face follower are in touch with the curved surfaces. A flat surface is a flat and flat with the curved surface, roller with the curved, roller another curve, knife edge with the curved surface. All these followers and pairs, this cam and follower pairs are higher pairs. The coefficient of Friction is low in the case of higher pairs and it is high in the case of lower pairs. What is the lower pair? When the contact between two elements is either area of contact or surface contact, then it is known as a lower pairs. Now, this is the question of the question answer for the types of followers. Next, Types of motions of a follower. Types of motion of a follower. There are various types of motions that is uniform velocity, next one, second motion is uniform 
acceleration and retardation the third type of motion is simple harmonic motion what is a simple harmonic motion when the particle moves on a circle path having uniform a uniform angular speed that is omega p the path traced by the the projection of the point p on the vertical axis and the motion of this projection of point p that is p dash is known as simple harmonic motion so here in this case of the followers in the case of the followers the diameter of the circle is the stroke of the follower and that is the maximum lift the lift of the follower is considered as the diameter of the circle when point p is moving in circular direction the projection of p on p on vertical axis that is p dash the motion of this p dash is under the motion of simple harmonic motion so that is the definition of simple harmonic motion okay now what is out stroke angle and return stroke angles what is out stroke angle return stroke angle what is angle of dwell okay now when cam is rotating for one rotation one revolution the valve will be opened and also closed and also stays during idle neither opening nor closing so that that positions it is controlled these valves are controlled by the angle of rotation of the cam so for a particular angle of rotation of the cam the valve opening takes place that angle is called the angle of opening next another term the same terminology they will use for another term not same terminology for a particular angle of rotation of the cam there is the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center it moves that is called outward in relation to the cylinder head that is called the stroke angle that is called theta o the stroke out stroke angle means theta o for a particular angle of rotation of the cam the total for one revolution cam rotates for one revolution for one revolution cam rotates 360 degree in that one revolution it will be shared particular angle of rotation that is certain angle of rotation it will operates the cap operates the valve or the piston move it operates the valve such a way the cam also it is connected to crankshaft it moves the piston moves from cylinder head to downward that is called out stroke angle and it will be theta o suppose 120 degrees out stroke angle then immediately it will not move up the return stroke what is the return stroke yet the piston goes the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center that is a return that returning takes place at that time the valve should be opened or closed the particular function will be there the so if it is valve is closing that is valve closing angle of rotation of the cam that angle we are considering in relation to the piston that is the stroke return stroke or in relation to the camshaft the functioning based on the valve it is the valve will be closed now 
that return stroke angle will mention 120 degree between out stroke and return stroke there will be a time the angle of rotation that angle of rotation at that angle of rotation the valve neither open nor close uh, the piston it doesn't affect it regulate the it doesn't control the cam angle of rotation doesn't control the valves those that angle of rotation is known as angle of dwell that means it is a constant radius of the cam will be there that angle of rotation suppose in between that is the theta during out stroke next to out stroke dwell it may be suppose 60 degree then what about retaining angle of dwell now if you make it summation then 360 minus 120 minus 60 minus 120 so that is 60 degrees so during return dwell during return is 60 dwell during outstroke that is also 60 next to outstroke outstroke angle is 120 total sum should be one angle of rotation of the cam that is 360 degrees so these are the definitions some of the definitions of okay outstroke angle what is the return stroke what is the angle of dwell so these are all related to the angle of rotation of the cam and the lift of the follower now for a particular there are certain terminologies are there in order to design the cam so what is the tracing point now i am going to draw i am considering a roller follower and cam profile okay here this is the axis of the follower axis of the follower next this is roller the maximum distance traveled by the follower during one rotation of the cam then that is known as lift or stroke this part is known as cam profile it is cam shaft now in order to draw the cam profile this particular shape there will be a circle that circle is known as a base circle passing through the contact point here This is the point and it is the center. Through this center, draw a radius curve. Draw a curve. Okay, that curve is known as base circle. That circle is known as base circle. This circle is the center here, this is the base circle and the center of the roller is known as tracing point. What is the use of this tracing point? This is passing through the tracing point, okay, this tracing point helps to draw the profile of a cam. Wherever tracing point is there, there we draw a roller circle touching the circumference touching the surfaces of all the rollers we draw a curve that curve is known as a cam profile that is in the case of roller follower now very important is that 
नेक्स्ट टर्म इज कॉल्ड पासिंग ए सर्किल ड्रॉइंग फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द बेस सर्किल पासिंग थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द रोलर दैट सर्किल इज नोन एज प्राइम सर्किल This is the center. It is the center. You draw a circle. That circle is known as prime circle. And this prime circle is so important for drawing the cam profile when the follower is roller follower. And the base circle. is smaller than the prime circle in this case of roller follower and base circle okay and the prime circle both are same in the case of knife edge follower so here another terms another in another terminology the prime circle is larger than the base circle here and it is differentiated by radius of the roller the radius of prime circle prime circle radius prime circle radius minus base circle radius that equal to radius of the roller roller radius r base circle radius equal to pr minus small r another term okay r prime circle radius equal to base circle radius plus roller radius this is the prime circle radius the base circle plus roller radius that gives so here it is the axis of the follower and whatever the axis of the camshaft the center of the camshaft is this there is a distance from the axis of the follower and the axis of the camshaft that distance is known as offset is known as offset distance so by taking this distance considering and drawing a circle from the center of the base circle that a circle is known as offset circle this circle is offset circle so there are various circles this offset circle that means the axis of the follower doesn't pass through the axis of the cam shop okay that axis of the cam then that circle is known as offset that circle we draw that distance is known as offset okay and that circle drawn by using that offset as a radius at the center of the base circle is known as offset circle how many circles are here number one roller circle number two base circle number three prime circle number four offset circle if the center of the axis of the follower the axis of the follower is not is passing through the axis of the cam then what will happen the offset is zero offset is zero then it is called a zero offset so if offset is zero then where will be the offset circle won't be drawn there then the remaining circles will be uh, will be drawn what are the circles base circle prime circle and roller circle are the three circles so these are the certain terminologies we considered uh, and are very useful in order to draw a uh, cam profile so how to draw the again we have to mark a uh, out stroke angle return stroke angles on the prime circle okay divide the prime circle into this is the reference line this is the out stroke angle so you will understand better where is the prime circle this is the prime circle that prime circle 
is divided into out stroke return stroke and dwell angular displacement the circumference of the prime circle out stroke division is divided into even number of equal even number of parts and in this case this case is here offset offset case study so we will draw a tangential lines even number i am dividing here to show you now here these are even number now which line you have to draw passing through passing through the tangential lines passing through the circumference of base circle this tangential lines should pass through these division points at the same time draw a tangential lines on the offset circle on this tangential lines we will mark the position of each displacement value mark on this on this lines those are the tracing points those are the tracing points these tracing points uh, by using these trace points we we'll draw a rollers this is the only study for how to draw the cam profile by using rollers roller follower so how the diagram takes place here so how to draw the cam profile by touching the base circle the circumference of the roller to this passing the points will draw that profile is the cam profile these are the points but i have shown you here cam profile is red color okay but this is the manner we have to draw the cam profiles this is the out stroke similarly for return stroke portion that please understand here the point is that we have to divide the prime circle circumference not the base circle so these are the tracing points okay the on these are tracing points with the using tracing point you draw a roller circles by touching drawing the curve touching the surface of the roller that curve is known as cam profile a cam profile curve all right in that manner we draw the cam profiles now that is the terminology now very important there are the angles the angles that is called that is known as a pressure angle the maximum pressure angle what is the importance of pressure angle what is the pressure angle pressure angle is the angle between the direction of the rotation of the followers to the normal to the pitch curve that angle is known as that angle is known as pressure angle okay and passing through the maximum pressure angles that known as a pressure curve if the pressure angle is larger then what will happen to the cam mechanism jamming takes place so if the pressure angle is is useful pressure angle is useful in designing the cam and also if the pressure angle is to be maintained in such a way that the jamming of the camming jamming where it will takes place jamming of this follower in its bearings jamming takes place that's why one has to maintain the proper or sufficient or optimum pressure angle so the cam profile okay is very in order to draw the cam profiles one has to know all these terms such a way that uh, we can design the cam properly otherwise again practical difficulties we have to face while operation during uh, operating conditions now these are the terminologies we have studied so far what is the definitions such some definitions the definitions are what are the types of followers what are the types of cams uh, what is pressure angle what is the lift what is the stroke what is the out stroke angle theta o what return stroke angle and uh, types of motions of the followers what is the tracing point what is the offset circle what is the base circle what is the prime circles so one more important thing is that there is the base circle the, uh, the there is no prime circle the prime circle and base circles are same for the for the followers of 
knife edge and flat face it follows whereas for the case of roller followers the prime circle is larger than the base circle and the base circle is important in order to, to draw the cam profiles base circle is the circle which is drawn by using the minimum radius of the cam from the center of the cam and offset circle is the circle drawn by taking the radius of offset at the base circle center so the least circle among all these is all these are offset circle next to offset circle larger is base circle so for the case of knife edge base circle and prime circles are same for the case of roller follower prime circle is larger than the base circle and base circle is the reference circle for drawing the cam profiles so whenever uh, we have drawing and one more thing important uh, condition for drawing the cam profiles is axis of the follower and axis of the cam if the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the cam shaft that contact point gives the radial lines that's why we will draw the radial lines for that case study whereas for offset it is a touching the axis of the follower is touching the what tangential to the offset circle that's why we draw the contact point is tangential that's why we draw the tangential lines passing through the prime circle divided points there we mark the tracing points and tracing points are the reference for drawing the rollers and by touching the circumferences of the, all the contact points touching the circumferences of the rollers we draw a curve that curve is known as cam profile so these are the important definitions thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates